This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are thine soul brethren. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, you dumb dumb. Uh, no, no offense, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but let's hop into this versus video real quick. Toe to toe, we're gonna put the Nike Kobe AD mid. In this 20, nice blue color. 2017. 2017. Um, is there any other words we can use? Lunar Lawn. Zoom. Uh, versus. The D was 8. Oh. Simple. That's, a, that's how you do it. Just a simple name, you know? <laughs> Just a couple, two words. Uh, I, I don't think they should. I, I still don't think Kobe's uh, Nike should have uh, stayed to stay with Kobe. Not with the AD. Why do you have to make eight? Why? Yeah, I this, think that was this a huge... This should be the 14 or whatever yeah, it is on, I right? think that was a huge mistake. Yeah. I think it kills the hype of the shoe. Yes. Um, and um, uh, obscures the lineage. Of course. Of the God. Uh, yeah. But let's step right into the traction. And that's going to be a win for the D Rose. Of course. Um, stopping power on the clean core, they're both really, really good. Yeah. Um, but dust. The AD mid picks up a lot of dust, so just watch out for that. And outdoor use, I feel like uh, the D Rose Eight is way yeah. better than the, uh, the AD. The AD but mid this, is super soft. The, the, this D Rose is just stupid. The Crazy traction is track. stupid. Yes. Um, and these are pretty good. These are good too. Yeah. But they, the dust is a problem. Uh, I, I wasn't having much of a dust problem with the uh, Rosies. You just have to wipe slightly. Yeah. Uh, you know, every few plays, if yeah. it's super dusty, but you, you just lift your foot up and just, you know, and then <laughs> you're go, good. Yeah. You know, but anyway. just wipe it on your defender. Real quick. <laughs> That's you. a move right there. Yeah, That's okay. a new move. Um, <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on to the cushion. Ooh, this is this is kind of hard. Yeah, this is hard. Uh, the Kobe uh, features full-length lunar lawn. Yes. With a zoom unit in the heel. The zoom unit is uh, d does not matter. It does not matter. It's not a factor. They should not even write zoom on the shoe. Do they? They don't. I don't think they do. Good for them, because there's not. It's not in here. But uh, and then you know, of course, we got full-length boost in the D Rose. They feel similar. Yeah, they do. What feels a, a bounce here? I feel like the lunar line is actually a little bouncy. It is. It's a heel. quicker bounce. Yeah. Right? But you get like a deeper impact protection. Yeah. And the D Rose 8, I think, a little bit. But wow, they're both really good. Yeah, I'd give it a tie. I would give it a tie. I also. mean, I feel a little bit lower to the ground in the Roses for some reason. Mm, yeah. You know, uh, than the Kobe's. But other than that, impact protection, they're both really great. Yeah. Uh, heel to toe transition, of course, is really great too. Uh, there is a little bit of bounce in the heel. It's, we'd say the Kobe 80 is a little bit bouncier in the heel, but um, yeah, they're both really nice and we'll give it a tie. Yeah. All right, moving on to the upper slash materials. We got like a weird synthetic leather um, suede. suede material in this upper and then some other synthetics. Uh, it's decent. It's strong. Um, it's pretty thin, so that's cool. Yes. And the D Rose 8 uses like a foam back mesh up, uh, upper with like cutouts for better ventilation mm. and also for a tiger aesthetic yes so. and um i i like this better the dero's eight better it's they, they both feel thin yeah but uh what gets softer the dero's eight gets softer and uh the kobe ad mid has a little bit of a longer break in yeah. time you know but as far as like premium and looks and all that like this is better but like it, it doesn't it, 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 it performance wise is not better yes it's just not i mean the way this looks it looks super cheap and i'm not really into it really yeah i like it i it's don't like know it's like a cheap looking i don't mesh. know why people don't like this material i like this material it just looks budget but hey it performs crazy yes so that's all that really matters for uh for us in regards to that shoe so um that's a win there for the d rose 8 now moving on to fit d rose um, 8 D Rose 8 for sure. Go true to size for the Kobe's. Go uh, true to your Adidas size for the D Roses. Which is half a size down from the regular. Of a cost. And the the mid was a little bit roomy for me. In the toe. In the toe, I do have a narrow foot. I had to choke out the laces, which created it. You can see it right there. It creates a ton of uh, Even for my shoe. toe lift in the toe cap. And toe it's lift. just 
it was just super annoying. Did you get that toe <clears throat> lift? Yeah, I got a toe lift. Yes. But um, yeah, the DOZ has no really uh, toe space or anything in it. Mm -mm. Uh, the fit was super nice. Um, and I feel like the DOZ is a little bit narrower than the Kobe 80 mid. Yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, moving on to support, I would DeRose it. DeRose it. Because um, you get a little ankle action. Of course. Which is cool. Yes. And then... Uh, Lockdown. Moving on. Moving on to lockdown, um, they're both good. They're both good. Yeah. Time yeah. up. Yeah. Alright, uh, wait. The d -Rose 8 is... Gonna be heavier. 13.47. Mm, actually, I don't know. That's pretty light for a D-Rose. They lightened it out a little bit. Kobe is 11.71. Ooh. Two ounces. Two ounces. That's quite a, um, you know, it's not much. It doesn't sound like much, but it actually is quite a... Quite a discrepancy as weight. But the D-Rose doesn't feel... I mean, I, I'd say the Kobe's feel heavier. Because like yeah. the fit and like the, the, fit, traction, the traction is good, yeah. you know? For sure. So yeah. I'd say the D-Rose feels lighter. For sure. You, you feel definitely feel quicker on your feet in the D-Rose 8. Yes. Uh, moving on to durability, D-Rose 8. Yes. Stronger outsole, plus these materials are already fraying and, and uh, not, the, not the best, but the most durable materials on some of these... Uh, areas so uh next let's talk about ventilation uh d rose 8 is, is pretty cool yeah, d rose 8 actually is not that hot it's not you know uh, i played in it which the 7 was crazy hot yeah the 7 was really hot the 8 um i would play in it for like a couple hours i wouldn't have to take off my shoe and it'd be fine mm -hmm. a lot of shoes i have to take off my uh, uh my shoe because i want to dry out my feet but yeah. this one was fine the 80 mid is hot yeah so aesthetics 80 mid, mid. yes all right. Um, all right. Well, let's wrap it up. Price-wise, these are 160. I believe so. 50 or 60, whatever it is, they're pretty expensive for a basketball shoe. Yes. Uh, for a shoe, uh, uh, for any shoe, regardless. Yes. Uh, those aren't a bad price. 140. 140. For the D Rose Eight. Yes. Um, you guys already know. Uh, you could probably pretty much guess it's the D Rose Eight for the win. They're super a strong. Win. It's kind of funny. It's like Adidas doesn't care. Yeah, they <laughs> just like the put this out <laughs> and it's flames. They didn't even do a campaign in the U.S. Nothing. They just dropped they it. They just dropped and it. And then uh, you know when a new shoe comes out for Adidas and it goes all on the site and yeah, it goes the first to the top. one. When the D Rose came Eight came out, it was like at the bottom. Way in the bottom. <laughs> it was Sounds like the D Rose Eight drop. I'm like, oh shit! So I went to go cop it. I'm like. What? No, it's not. Yeah. It's not here. And then I was like, wait on there. I'm like, damn, they're doing D Rose dirty. Yes. Um, they had a huge campaign in China, but nothing. Yeah, good. I think he's still really big in China, but people are kind of, kind of fed up with D Rose out here in the U.S. Yeah. Um, sad. But. It's just sad. But I mean, hey, it's a dope shoe, and I guess they got to just keep making them, try to get their money back. Of course. Because uh, they dropped a heavy penny on D Rose, but. But copy. Copy D Rose A for the win. And they Dang just came out with another colorway. I don't really love this colorway. Nope. Um, and I hope they make some more. Obviously, I hope they do the blackout. Um, and that's it. Soul Brothers. We'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.